Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. The communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. Race 4 on the card, it kicks off the jackpot and this is the first leg of jackpot number one. It is the follow in the box seat podcast MR67 handicap and it's set to be run over the 1600 meters. At the time of recording, there is one scratching and the three Tom's act does come out. So only 10 runners go to post for the running of race four. It does seem to be a competitive MR67 handicap with quite a few horses good chances in this lineup. One, one horse that I want to get a quick comment from you on is the one, the Bayou, with Donald Tertzen taking four off the back. Now, the Bayou has tumbled down in the ratings. He was one of the highest rated horses in the race, along with cool runnings on a mark of 90. He's on a mark of 68, 56 and a half on his back. What do you make of the Bayou? From gate one, they'll have a lovely smooth run in transit. Of that, I have no doubt. Donald valuable weight off four kgs and yeah the bayou paul lafferty's made no secret that he's always liked this horse he is a five-time winner his last win was 201 days ago he's a seven-year-old so he's not getting any younger but you look at his overall form he's never too far off he's always there in the action uh, the recent form line has been franked and he should improve on on those last couple of runs but i, I say improve they haven't been the worst runs i've ever seen the point I'm making is that he should be able to get a lot closer this time than he has been in his last couple of starts. So for me, the Bayou is definitely alive and definitely got a chance, uh, no doubt. But not my first choice, but certainly on my shortlist to include in all bets. Two runners that intrigue me, four cool runnings, who continues to drop in the ratings and can improve on his recent effort. He's got ability, this horse, he's a two-time winner, he's, he's placed before and Dean Kahneman and Keegan Domeno will be looking for more from this horse cooled runnings and I think he could be the value in the race and over the page number eight Mode, who comes from uh, uh, the Highfelt for the Sean Terry stable on those best efforts in Gauteng and if Mode uh, takes to the surface she certainly could win a race like this. I certainly won't be arguing with you about the four core runnings you Found love on time from the Dean Canamea and Keegan Mello combination a few weeks ago at a decent price. So you could be onto something with cool runnings who should offer some nice value in this race. Touching on the eight horse mode, I, I feel that she is the lurker in the lineup. If she if we go three runs back in her form line when she ran three three point three lengths to Eternity Ring, if she reproduces a run like that, I feel she wins this race. Eternity Ring is a decent sort. And a run like that is going to hold her in good stead here. Yeah. And over 1,600, she hasn't won over the distance. But I think that if she travels down well, she takes to the surface, I think Bolt can be right there. Uh, my top choice in the race is the 10 Winter Waves. Now, last time out, he got going a bit too late. I think it was a brilliant try from Samang Kumalo aboard, aboard White Cedar. He overcame the draw with the horse and sent him off to the front end. That was race over. Winter Wave ran on best of the rest. He ran second, beaten 1.8 lengths. He was, his 400 to finish was in a time of 22.9. Rocky Coast has come out to win from the form line. And I definitely think that Winter Waves, he, he will be right there. He will be running on at the business end. Tries the 1600 meter trip for the first time. So I think he could enjoy it now that he is getting a bit older. So Winter Waves will be there. What a blast for me could possibly be the value at around 8 to 1. His last two rounds are too bad to be true. Wasn't his efforts beaten five lengths in his penultimate start and then 18 lengths last time out at Scottsville down the lane over 1,200. Steps up in trip, neat draw of gate four. Muzieni aboard. He has come down in the ratings a bit. He's on a mark of 62 and around 8 to 1. I think Water Blast offers some value. Then the eight mode would be my third choice. And then I think I'll throw in the Bayou into that court trifecta as a quartet for that spot position in this lineup. But Warren quite likes a bit of the four cool run-ins and the eight mode. And I'm in the camp of winter waves with the value possibly being the five water blast. 
Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Intubates helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitaskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you'd like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn.